This video will look at panelizing horizontal structures and roofs, adding panel breaks to these structures and adding framing. In order to create drawings and ultimately the NC data for the framing of horizontal structures, it is necessary to panelize the area first. Larger areas can be split by using break lines to create smaller panels. However, it is possible to skip this step and move on to panelizing the whole area if you only want to add in one panel to any particular area. This can be done by going into the floor panel menu in the modeling tab and choosing the panel break command, or by clicking on a horizontal structure and either choosing the panel break command from the plane structure tab, or by right clicking to bring up the context sensitive menu and choosing the panel break command. The cursor will now have a long break line attached to it. Variables can be defined in the contextual toolbar first from the right click menu. Panel breaks added in this way divide the area into fields, into which you can also add panel breaks. Select an add-in method from the contextual toolbar. These options cover adding by whole area, whilst these cover adding into fields. Here you define seam width and details between the panels. Now click a location for the panel break or a point from which the division is started. Once you have added all the breaks you require, confirm and quit out the command in your preferred way. Now we are ready to add in the actual panel or panels if you have added breaks into the horizontal structure. This function can be used to build the floor or roof panels to the structural layer to which you've added panel breaks. The layers of the horizontal structure and their materials have been selected when the structure was added. You can also include layers above or below the layer in which the panel breaks have been added to the panel. First go to the floor panels menu in the modeling tab and choose the generate panels command, after which you can select the area to add the panels to. Or first select the area and then choose the command from either the plane structure tab or the right click menu. You can then select the number of layers by using the function on the contextual toolbar. Select the panel to be built by clicking the edge lines of the panels. You can then select all panels by pressing Ctrl A or drag a box around the ones you want to panelize. The panel text will go green for the selected panels. Now confirm. You can then select part numbering in the dialog box. You can also alter frame parameters in here, choosing joist and support spacing and if sheathing is generated. Now confirm by clicking OK. The program will now build the panels if you have selected the Add Framing checkbox in the dialog box. You can edit the framing using the framing functions. Please see our video on that for further information. Thank you for watching.